Hello everyone and welcome to Spain on a Fork. I'm your host, Albert Bevia. In today's episode, we're going to be making something really special, Fidoa. Fidoa was born in the city of Gandia in La Comunidad Valenciana. It's the answer to a seafood paella, but made with noodles instead of rice. It packs a big flavor and it's not as hard to make as you may think. So let's get started. And here are the ingredients that we'll be using. We have half of a red bell pepper, one tube of squid, six jumbo shrimp that have already been peeled and deveined, about half a cup of tomato puree, one cup of fideuwa noodles. These are kind of like elbow macaroni. They're not too big, so anything you can get that's about that size will be perfect. We have freshly minced parsley, four cloves of garlic, a pinch of saffron, smoked paprika, and about a half a cup of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our pan and heat it up. I'm using an authentic paella pan. If you can't get your hands in one of these, you can use any style of frying pan that's about this size. So let's go ahead and turn on our fire to about medium, low to medium heat. And let's add our half cup of olive oil. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and cut up our squid, as you can see. It's the one that's a tube that's hollow inside. This has already been washed and dried. We're going to cut it. We're going to take off the tip and discard that. You're going to want to cut it in about that thickness right there. Okay, now we have our squids cut up in rings. What we're going to do is just cut that ring right down the middle. You're going to end up with two pieces from each ring. And let's get two pieces. So from each ring, we're going to get four pieces of squid. Okay, next step, let's add our squid to our pan. Our oil's already hot enough. We'll add a pinch of salt to the oil. And let's add our squid. Move it around so it's all bathing in the oil. Okay, so in our squid, I've been cooking for about two minutes. We don't want to overcook them, so let's go ahead at this point. We're going to go ahead and take them out of the pan. Okay, next up, let's grab our half red bell pepper. Let's take the core off. Cut it in half. We're just going to cut it in thin strips. Now let's go ahead and add our minced garlic. Okay, now let's add our red bell pepper. Now let's add our half cup of tomato puree. Next we're going to add the smoked paprika. You don't want to put too much because it's a very powerful spice, but enough to give it a nice smoky flavor. Okay, so it's been about 2-3 minutes since I added the tomato puree. And everything's cooking wonderfully at this point. Let's go ahead and add our water. I'm going to add two and a half cups of water. So for every cup of pasta that you're going to put into this, you put two and a half cups of water. Now we'll add our pinch of saffron. And a nice pinch of sea salt. And mix it all in. Okay, so our water has came to a boil. At this point, let's go ahead and turn up the fire just a little bit. And let's go ahead and grab our squid and throw it back into the pan. Mix it in. Grab another pinch of salt. Throw it in there. And now we're going to add the noodles. The secret here is spread them out evenly. Now let's mix them in. Big secret when making this is to never stir. You just want to kind of make little pockets to even out the pasta through the water. And now we'll add our six shrimp. Okay, so it's been about two minutes. You want to check on it every two minutes because the pasta will stick to the bottom of the dish. And like I told you, you don't want to stir it. You just kind of create pockets and you can feel the pasta underneath. Kind of sticking a little bit, you just move it around. Continuing to move every two minutes or so, you just want to come in here, make sure that pasta doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, and distributing the pasta throughout the pan. As you can see, the water starting to evaporate, creating the pasta to become softer. You can start seeing the plates start to develop. Okay, so our water is almost been evaporated. And at this point, when we have this little bit of water left, shake it all together to even it all out. 
So let's go ahead and turn off our fire. And we are going to cover this with some foil paper. And now let's grab a dish towel to cover it. And let's grab our feed off. And put, make sure you have a surface there so it's not hot. We're going to let this sit for about five to seven minutes to let all the flavors develop and let that last water evaporate inside of the pasta. Okay, so it's been about six minutes. So let's uncover and see what we have. And look at that, that is perfectly cooked. Okay, at this point, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon on top, and then to give it some color, our freshly chopped parsley. And there's our finished plate of Fidawa. If you enjoyed today's episode of Fidawa, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my newest videos showing you how to cook great Spanish food. And like we say in Valencia, bon profit.